Hi everyone, we are on the countdown to New Year's. This is going to be day number six. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see you guys. It is the countdown to New Year's. We are on day number six and I've had so much fun these past few days spending time with our daughter Raina, our oldest daughter Raina, and her husband Jeremy, my favorite son-in-law. I can say that now, my favorite son-in-law and uh, of course the children, our, my grandchildren. My oldest ones, Quinn and Maddie Matt, and we've just been having such a fun time just spending time together, just hanging around together, all taking naps on that couch. I tell you, it's dangerous. Remotes, constantly lost. Um, keys, lost. Um, things to go with the laptops, the mouses, lost. That couch eats everything. It even took the scrunchies out of Raina's hair the other night. She was sleeping, she woke up, her scrunchies were gone. They were down inside the couch. I know it's a crazy couch, but you get those blankets on it and you just sit down, and relax, and you're all talking. And the next thing you know, the five of us are sleeping on the couch. It's crazy. It's a crazy couch. But anyway, I think we all need naps sometimes, right? So, and anyway, we've had so much fun. And so we're just gonna, um, and I haven't really had time to go on YouTube. I thought I would be able to maybe get a couple of hours in here and there and just kind of try to my best to catch up so I'm going to do whatever I can after the first of the year to kind of catch up and just thank you guys so much it means the world to me that you're able to take time out of your day to spend with me watch my videos and comment and I don't want you to think I'm being rude or take you guys for granted by not answering right away so you guys you guys mean the world to me so thank you so much from the bottom of my heart if you're new to my channel I hope you take a second Hit that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join us for future videos. And uh, yeah, we're just going to talk a little bit today. I was going to start getting ready and getting into some routines and things. I've got my book of the month from December that I haven't done yet. I think that's probably the only thing. I couldn't figure out the new website. Um, Wink had updated the Wink their website and I was going to skip this month as well. I could not figure out where to hit skip. Yeah, I know. So anyway, so now I've got three wink boxes that I could catch up on. So then I thought well, maybe we'll just do all four bottles at once and taste them, you know. But yeah, I'll probably just do them one by one in the next coming months. Figure out the website so I can skip a few more months here and there. Um, let's see. And I think that's all that I've got to do other than I haven't had a chance to... Um, do any coloring or update my plan I like printing my thumbnails and just filling those in so I'll try to get those done um, after they leave and just kind of fill in some things and maybe just do a quickie run through at the end of the year but anyway I can always worry about that later but the most important thing and if you've been away from your family and just when you're together you just you just that's all that matters is for Sometimes it's just being with the ones you love and spending whatever time you have left with them. And that's so much fun. Alrighty, so getting into today. So I just want to go over what we've done during the day and then open up my champagne here or sparkling wine. So anyway, just a kind of slow day. Just kind of started off in the morning with trying to get five people in and out of the shower and getting hair done and makeup and things like that. So yeah, we got that done. We got some laundry started and um kind of hung around we watched youtube they won't do, do a thing called jet lag or something it's kind of like oh i forgot what that show was so amazing adventures or something like that it's on the idea or something like that where they could acclaim states and new challenges and things like that so that's one of the things that they watch so we watched that and some other things that they enjoy on youtube so we just did that for a little bit um for lunch oh my gosh that prime rib we had last night was so so good that uh, for lunch we sauteed some butter and some garlic 
and then chopped up lots of onions and peppers and just kind of sauteed got those nice and smothered and uh, I just love smothered onions and peppers so anyway after that was done we kind of scooped out the onions and peppers since the kids don't really like the onions and peppers and then I just kind of um, cut some of the prime rib real thin pieces so it was going to be nice bite-sized pieces uh, sauteed that in the butter and then we got some Swiss cheese got that melted on there put that on some nice sub rolls and then you could put whatever you wanted on it if you wanted I also had fresh onions and peppers in case you didn't like them smothered and then just the smothered ones we had those for lunch so so good we've got enough prime rib left we'll probably finish it off tomorrow for breakfast we're gonna have a big breakfast tomorrow so looking forward to that um, after we did that, we kind of set, let us sit for a little bit more, watch some more TV, chat a little bit more. Uh, the boys, um, Maddie, Matt, and Jeremy, wanted to go to the car museum that's um, in Rogers. They have a few antique cars there, some classic cars, things like that. So they went there for a little bit. Well, they did, did that. We kind of still watched TV, took a little nap here and there because, you know, they said, you know, like total guys are, oh, yeah, we're just going to be gone five minutes. Yeah, two hours later, they came back. So, yeah, so we had a nap. We were nice and refreshed. And um, so then we decided to just go out. They wanted to go to one of the Dollar Trees around here. Um, the guys like going to the Dollar Tree stores. They say that they've got a lot of, like, Matchbox, um, the old Matchbox and Hot Wheels and things like that. So they wanted to check out, see what they had. They had something different than what they got back home. And they did have a lot at the one that we went to, but uh, just nothing that they didn't already have. Um, the, my store was just about, was just about bare, a lot of, a lot of empty shelves. They had a lot of food, frozen foods there, like name brand foods that were like three and five dollars, things like that. Um, I, I thought maybe they would have like some Hall uh, Valentine, Valentine, Valentine decorations and things like that. But I think they just probably just got all the Christmas stuff out. And so those were what was at the empty shelves, just waiting for things like that. And um, after that, we went to a toy and hobby store that was in Albertville, too. And they had, like, model cars and things like that. So the guys checked to see if they had anything there that they wanted. And then we went to the Albertville Mall. And at first, you know, we were thinking early where we were going to go. But it was, like, sleeting and uh, snow here and there and then sleet and then back to rain. So we just go, do we want to go and walk outside? Do we want to go to an enclosed mall? But anyway, we ended up going to Albertville, the outlets which is open and of course it was cold which it was cold at first but then you go into those stores and they are so so hot it's like how are these people working in here eight ten hours a day it's so hot so when you left the stores it was like oh this is so nice it's like a breath of fresh air out here so we got a little bit of exercise in um Maddie Matt found something at Zoomies it's a store he likes back home so he got a couple of t-shirts there and Quinn uh, went into Torrid, got a beautiful, beautiful pink blouse. Thought it was on sale for $46, went to pay for it. Final sale was $6. Beautiful, beautiful pink tunic blouse. So that was a really nice buy. And um, then we went for dinner. We went to the Hen and Hog. It was only about a little after five when we went. And uh, it's a newer restaurant, probably the last two or three years here in uh, Albertville area. And I hadn't been there before, but it was really, really good. Everything they do there is handmade in the kitchen. They don't buy prepared foods or anything like that. Everything's handmade. Menu looks so good, but we were still probably pretty much full from lunch. So we're like, well, it's dinner time. We really should eat, but we're not really hungry. We don't really want a full meal. And there's no more room in the refrigerator for leftovers. So we decided we were going to get the appetizers. They had five different appetizers. Quinn wanted a cheeseburger, so he got um, the cheeseburger that had um, was half beef and then half of the beef brisket. Oh, my God, that was so good. It just kind of melted in your mouth. That was really, really good because we all had to have a bite. And uh, for the appetizers that we got, they had some really fun ones. So the first one that we got was, was called a Minnesota wonton. So it was pastrami and cream cheese that was deep fried in the wonton shells so so good and then it had a kind of like a dill um, mustard aioli or something that you dipped it in that was awesome so so good we had hog belly bites which I really love hog belly bites I, oh my god they're so good so they were great big ones I've never seen hog 
hog bellies this big. So they made really big chunks and it was cooked in a maple bourbon glaze. It had some little tiny tart cherries on the side. They kind of looked like big blueberries, but it was cherries and just really good. It had crostini in case you wanted to make a little sandwich with it, but they just melted in your mouth. I love hog bites. They are so, so good. Um, we also got some cheese curds with a nice ranch dip. They were really, really good. Um, they got some hen wings that had a honey butter sriracha sauce on them. And um, we also got what they called Swedish poutine. So it was like french fries with uh, Ellsworth cheese curds. They weren't like breaded or anything like that. So just the cheese curds just all melted on those fries. And then what they called was a Swedish gravy or something. So it was kind of like a brown onion gravy maybe. So I had that, and also what they called, and I'm probably going to say it wrong, was Wagyu steak bites. And, of course, they didn't have the price on that one. You had to ask for it. Sometimes you think, well, if you have to ask, you really shouldn't get it. But it was only like $20. And, I mean, all the other appetizers were between $12 and $15, so it wasn't that much more. But what he, they said, it's supposed to be one of the most tenderest, juiciest, and freshest, nicest steaks around. So, anyway, they got that, and it was rubbed in like a coffee um, a coffee scrub and then they also made a sauce that went over it and it was served over like tiny French onion rings so um, anyway the sauce was really good to me and to everybody but Maddie Matt the steak bites were hard they were kind of tough they weren't tender at all but Quinn not Quinn Maddie Matt loved them so he claimed those for his own and that was fine with us because we had plenty of other things um, so after that um, you know, they had some handmade desserts too. They had like a banana foster bread pudding that sounded good, a creme brulee, and then they had apple caramel cannolis. So anyway, Rainer and I, we decided we wanted to split one. And so the guy, the waiter says, you know, well, you know, they're, you know, they're not that big. They may be this big. It's really not enough for, for, you know, to split. We just kind of looked at each other and we're like, yeah, we're really not that hungry. So anyway, we just, we ended up splitting it and it was plenty for us. Oh my gosh, I've never had such a buttery, creamy caramel sauce. I wish I could have bought a jar of it. It was the best caramel sauce I've ever had. Um, the cream in the cannoli was, oh my gosh, it was so rich. And then the apples that were in there was really, really good and a nice flaky cannoli. So, so good. Yeah, so we will definitely be back there again. They do takeout and stuff like that. So I may be doing stuff like that on my own. That was a really good place. They had some really good sandwiches and things like that on the menu as well. Um, let's see. After that, we just went to the local store, Coburn's. Um, we wanted to see if they had any of the 1919 root beer, and they had a case of cans, so we got that. Uh, we picked up some waffles to have tomorrow, so we're going to have the leftover prime rib sliced up again, probably with onion don't tell the boys I'm putting in the uh, onions and peppers and uh, with some eggs we've got the waffles that we're going to have with it we've got some bacon we've got some sausage and some English muffins and then we're going to have that then we're going to head to the Mall of America probably spend a few hours there we've got reservations tomorrow night in Minneapolis at um, Gordon Ramsay's restaurant I'm going to call it Hex Kitchen even though you really know what the name really is I just don't want to get a strike on me and so, yeah, we're going there. I've never been there, so looking forward to seeing what that restaurant's all about. And then, who knows, probably get home probably tomorrow night sometime. So hoping to come on tomorrow night, do another quick little video with you guys, and just share a glass of the sparkling wine. So I think I'm getting ready to close out, so I think I'm going to have to do this. You know, and then speaking of the Alice Mall, Rain, I had um, two going to a party on New Year's when she goes home for New Year's Eve and she wanted to get something sparkly and I said you know Dress Barn always has something and she says you guys still have Dress Barn they all closed about 10 years ago and I'm like oh yeah that's been here forever yeah they don't have it anymore and this dress I actually got at the Dress Barn when we first moved uh, to this area so I bought this in 1990 yeah, 19, 1990 right no 2000 yeah, 2000 is when I got this. So it is 23, almost 24 years old. I got this to go to a office party. Some years it fits. Some years it's too big. Some years it is way too tight. 
this year, it happens to be fitting. You can see it's of 2000s. So we got the uh, big puffy shoulder pads, but you know, I think shoulder pads are coming back. And again, it's a nice crushed velvet dress. It's got a slit that goes out mid thigh, it goes all the way to the floor. And again, it's just uh, I've got all these kind of gold threads and some sparkles in here. Like I said, since, since uh, 23 years, sometimes it fits, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes I have to pin the back with a bobby pin to keep it up, and not this year. So anyway, let's try this out. So anyway, I hope wherever you are, you are enjoying the countdown to New Year's as well. Enjoying your friends, enjoying your family, your fur babies, just enjoying life. Life's too short not to enjoy it. Have some fun. So anyway, love you guys so much. Happy New Year, everyone. Cheers. So, so good. This is sweet. I know a lot of the sparkling lines are on the dry side. That is a nice, sweet one. I think we used to call it Asti Spumante, but I didn't see a Spumante on it. But anyway, so if you are looking for a sweet, sparkling wine for New Year's, Martini and Rossi. Asti. So, so good. So anyway, love you guys so much. I hope you guys go out. Have a great day. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. Love you guys so much. And I can't wait to talk to you tomorrow night. Love you guys. Bye-bye.